Okay, Charles LeBlanc here. Now, I'm not going to say where I'm at, but I just somebody kidnapped me from the... Put the camera up a little bit more. There we go. Somebody kidnapped me and then bring me over here. And just to, you know, everybody's talking about the property assessment tax. What they do is a new style. Uh, from what I hear, they had drones. And then they circle around the drone, boom, boom, boom. Well, that property, okay, that's maybe worth maybe $150,000. Boom, then they get the tax assessment. Robert Jones, beautiful reporter, wanted to save my hide and say, John, in 2006, my God, 2005, time flies. So anyway, bottom line here, the property tax are going up. Everybody's all upset. They blame Ed Doherty. Ed Doherty. David Kuhn said, Ed Doherty. Oh, like he's, we have enough figureheads. What does he mean by figureheads? Ed Doherty walks around in crutches and I'm not making fun of it. Not doing like Donald Trump making fun of a person with a mental illness. But he smiles, he smiles. And smile and smile. I campaigned for the guy when he first got elected. Whew. Absolutely no good. Anyway, but I like to go after him, my camera, because those crutches really move fast. When he sees me, he just goes, goes, goes. Anyway, so everybody says the minister must resign. You know what? My opinion is a blog. I'm going to say it. Bullshit. Bullshit. Like this thing here. They put the value up. It used to be the value of that barn was $75 a year. Property tax. 75 bucks. It went up. They added another seven. $775 for that barn. Because the drone went on top. They just saw it. They put a brand new roof. So they said, my God, that must be worth a lot of money. Bottom line is this. You do not blame the minister. Who's to blame is the deputy minister. What does a bureaucrat call a politician? Temporary help. The politician is only there for a short time. The bureaucrat is there forever. Now, the deputy minister of service New Brunswick said, cuts, cuts, cuts. What they did, they cut the workforce that they don't have to go house to house to assess the true value of the property. They just went by guesses. So don't blame the workers. Don't blame the minister. It's the deputy minister. And you know what? The way that our state of the province is right now, I'm going to tell you exactly what it looks like. And I'm going to show the camera right here. This is what it looks like. Enough said.